Hi Fox, welcome back for more PGA Tour from EA Sports. Now, we played a couple of the... Oh, let's get off of that. The USGA and the Corn Ferry. So what I want to do now, I want to just go play a full 18 round hole of golf. On a course. I don't know what course I'm going to play yet, so... We shall just have a quick look. See what we've got. Augusta National, Pebble Beach. Oh, the Kiowa Island, that's a beautiful course. I'll tell you what, shall we go have a bang at St. Andrews? Bay Hill, Quail Hollow, Liberty National, Tory Pines, Whistling Straits, Deep Sea Boston, Riviera Country Club, or oh, Chambers Bay as well. Southwind, Abandoned Dunes. Oh, they've got Top of the Rock. Wilmington, PGA West, Taraiti, Arbor Town. Banff Springs, Southern Hills, Wolf Creek, Lighthouse Point, Wetlands, Teeth of the Dog, La Romana, Dominican Republic. So, I think... Ooh, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, I tell you what, I want to go have a look at St. Andrews. We'll do the full 18. Uh, yep, over there. And here we go. I want to start getting all the, getting some of the challenges done and getting some of the rewards and stuff for the challenges. Now from the home of golf, EA Sports, so proud to welcome you to the old course at St. Andrews. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner. And Frank, here we are at the old lady, the old course at St. Andrews. And this golf course has confounded so many through the centuries. What are a couple of keys to being successful here? Well, if you are a recreational player and you're struggling a bit, then you play to the middle of the golf course. But if you really want to challenge the great course, then the best line around the whole golf course is down the right. And that's actually where the trouble is. So if you can hug the right side, because remember, there's so many double greens here and they have a central bunker. So if you're coming from the right side of the golf course, there's always a better avenue to every single flag you're attacking. Okay, let's get this going. Looking forward to this. I keep I mean I keep saying it. I, I want to have a look and at camera can settings the and stuff. Quickly on that one, that is right down the middle to get the round started. But the hell, it's still rolling. That rolled out quite a bit. 327, 264 carry out of 327 that rolled. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second to this par four. Okay. Oh, huge mistake. That's motored on by. You're telling me. Now, I did put a couple of skill points I into the is at the short first green. This for birdie. And it would be easy to look and try and see something in this pot that really isn't there. It's straight and it's flat. Are you sure, Iona? Don't lie to me now. Oh, that's a little practice swing. Oh, I've pulled it. I pulled it. Oh, I should have mm, said I pushed effort, it. But that'll run two, three feet past the hole. Okay, that one cleaned up without okay, any issue. Start off issue. a par. That is a par. Moving now to the 411 yard par four second featuring the first of the old course's double greens. Best to work a little left off the tee to avoid gorse and bunkers on the right. The ideal spot is just to the right of Cheap's bunker. Oh, look at them pot bunkers. Okay, right over the top of the bushes. Now we'll just go a little bit to the right here. Come on. Lovely.
again another very nice tee shot he looks awfully comfortable here with these first couple of drives gosh still going 331 wow that's rolling like 78 yards so from right around the middle of the fairway this is second okay pitch and wedge approach let's go with that one That should be good. Come on. That'll do it. That'll do it. Should be able to get a birdie from there, I hope. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Oh, that's not easy. Oh, that's sure. Oh. Could have done with a little no, bit more I pace on that, to be honest. Walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. I think if I hit a little bit more pace, that probably would have dropped. So he'll finish that off for his par. Oh, another buddy. Yeah, another par, round should I say. Underway. At the third hole now, Frank, it looks relatively easy, but you know there's some danger lurking somewhere out there on the old course. There is. There's the pot bunkers down the right side. This is a tee where really you want to have an idea where that wind is coming the from. The colors of the face, course is beautiful. You might want to be a little cautious and go towards the middle of the golf course, but if it's behind you, well, then it's worth, worth challenging that right side. Okay. That right side looks a little bit dodgy to me. I'm going to go over here. A little bit of an overswing that. Get a little bit extra distance. What did that hit there? Did you hear that? It was a different sound from that first hit. Christ, look at that ball still going. Excellent tee shot. Just an awkward distance coming up. That's sort of in between pitch shot. A good break got him here. Now his second to the par four. Okay, approach. Um, oh, damn it. Right, so I think I'm going to have to go with a pitch shot. Maybe not. Approach shot. That's with. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that. I think. Just make sure I don't overswing it this time. Oh, I thought I'd go a little bit further than that actually. Still left as a tough uh, little putt. It's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Birdie. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at Birdie. And he's got to have good energy transfer here. It's an uphill putt, but it's going to slide oh. left as he gets near the hole. Oh, no. Just appeared to be befuddled by the break there. A little bit too much break there. So we'll a steady another start part. to his round. That's a third straight par to get things Three going. Pause. You might be asking, why have so many of golf's greatest course architects drawn from the old course? Well, here's a good example. It's about the options, a couple of ways to get after a hole. You can take a risk and you would be rewarded by going toward that narrow valley on the right. But there's always a price to pay. Safer play is to go for the plateau on the left again all about options at the old course and once i've heard all the commentating all that i will turn it off eventually like i did in 2k23 but it's nice to hear it for the first time yeah nothing to fault there good balance good follow through and a good start to this hole bloody hell i thought that was going to end up in the rough there Right side okay. of the fairway here for this, his second. Um, let's go about here. Try 
try that. Oh, it's gone a little bit right at the pin. Again, it's going to leave us a quite well, a not tough super putt close, here. but uh, safely on the green. Going to have to be a little careful with this one. It's for birdie. Right, a little bit right to left, and a little bit of left to right as well. No, that's going to turn right. Oh, mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little yeah, bit the off the mark. A little bit different from two K twenty three. The way the, the brakes So it's take. a very consistent play in the early going. Four straight pars to begin his round. We come now to the fifth, the first par five on the front side here at St. Andrews. 514-yard hole that ends at a green that is 100 yards deep. Avoid the Seven Sisters bunkers off the tee, and reaching into is okay. a possibility if the weather cooperates. Big smack there. Big overswing. Two that is an one excellent carry. tee shot, and now this par five is certainly within reach. Yeah. That amazes me how far that ball runs. <laughs> 264. Wow, that's 90 yards that ran out. Right, what have we got here? Three iron. Four iron. Let's go with a five iron, shall we? I should do it lovely. I'll tell you what, that lie though, I think it's a little bit below my feet. Let's take it a little bit more to the, the left. Let's have another look. Yeah, let's see, round right about there. Okay, we're right on the mark there. Oh, still running out a bit much, isn't it? But again, once you get your skill points into the, the control and stuff like that, that one had to feel to approach good. shots. Yeah, it struck it you so well. Be you could see that by the reaction stopping the of that ball a lot quicker. Hit the green landed so softly. Oh, again, another lengthy putt here. Looks like everything's going left to right. Not much of a turn on it though. Pushing them a little bit to the, the right, but it looks fit. Oh, I can hear a jet flying over. A dead on look here for Birdie. Yeah, that's both videos. Yeah, the first two videos. Birdie, that's in for a four. Let me just get out of this. Here we are now at the 370 so yard par four the six. Audio. It's a blind tee shot over a mound. The key here, avoiding the coffin bunkers on the left. A series of bunkers on the right. Yeah, that first video with menu settings and all that, that got copyrighted. The second video uh, from Band in Dunes, that got copyrighted as well from the main menu music. So I think I've got main menu music on this as well. But I don't know what the hell. Let me have a look. Audio. Oh, wrong one. Menu sound effects. That's that clicking. Click, click, click. Gameplay, music volume, let's turn the music right down. That's so bloody annoying. Oh, hold on. Are you sure you want to cancel? No. Want to apply the changes? Right. Let's just smash one down now. Could have went for an overswing there. Massive fairway. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Again, the amount of run out you get so on this is crazy. So from a little more than 70 yards, this is second. Okay, approach. Um, I think we'll try our little pitch. Just before the green, and it's rolled off the back of the green. 
<laughs> I think we're still on the edge of the green now. A two putt has to be the name of the game here. This a long one for birdie. Okay. I'm thinking about that. Is it going to turn in? It's not turning in. Look, keep it out to the right. That was bang on distance as well. Putting such an underrated part of the game, and that is well done there. Nice little leg putt, as you said. So after a heck of a putt to get it to tap in range, he finishes that off for his par. Back here at the Open Championship on the seventh hole here at the old course. Yeah, blind tee shot. This is one uh, one hole that really does advantage the long Yeah, I've got of, a funny feeling this is going to get copyrighted as well because green, of that this menu, green has uh, got some, menu music uh, amazing on. undulations in it. Um, this is going to run out, so I'm going to have to drop this down to... Five... Three wood, I reckon. Yep, definitely. Oh, that might be a bit short. Get up, 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 up. Get up. Oh, it is short. Oh, no, it made it. Nice. Yeah, physics are a little bit off there. In the rough uphill and it still rolled out. So, after the fortunate kick, he is second to the par four. Okay, right. Let's go with that. That's looking good. That is looking good. Go on. Yes, we should get a birdie from this. Rich, Come is that on. Eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. Yes. Not a problem. That's in for birdie. Okay, two That's under. That moves to two under par. Not bad. The eighth hole at 166 yards is not long, but you can see it has that bunker guarding the front of the green. If you do not clear that, you're in a world of trouble. Guess I see them greens. Okay, four iron. Gonna go with a five iron, I think. We'll pull it back just a touch. Oh, that's a little bit right. And that's probably gonna go off the green, I think. Just trickled off at the edge. Oh no, still, not, still on the green. That one? Safely on the putting surface. 41 foot putt though. Wow. He's hoping here to at least get this to tap in range, but it is for birdie. Should turn back in a little bit. Come on. Nope, that'll yeah, do. Yeah, you had a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. We'll take a par. Yeah, very good display on the greens there. That was a demanding two-putt, but he gets it done for his three. Bunkers, bunkers, and more bunkers. So this ah. has only 347 yards as we close out this front side with the par we'll four ninth. Straight down the middle. Boses and end hole bunkers, and they're right in the middle of the fairway. So it's all about the tee shot, putting it in a good spot. If you do, you're walking out of here with a three, or you could knock it on and maybe... Bump one in, putt one in for an eagle. Little overpower there, get a little bit extra distance. Well, that's on a pretty good line so far. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's going to be pretty close to the bloody green. Look at that go. <laughs> oh my god. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Okay. Can I look at this properly? I'll have to kind of see once you get 
sort up to the top there. Um, yeah, that's better. I can look. Can I change the camera? Yep, there we go. Okay, just had a helicopter going over there as well, so we've got quite a lot of right to left. Got a little bit of left to right once we get down here. Well, let's try that. Can't even see the bloody hole. Oh, that's a little bit short. Oh, that was turning in as yeah, well. Putts this long so hard to gauge the speed, and that's maybe about what you'd expect. This would be a good way to finish off the front side. Oh, now, you could have kidding. Gonna go begging. He misses right. Frustration there. Pushed it right again. Okay, that's in for his par here at the ninth. And he'll go out in 34 to under par for three this putt, front side. Know. Shouldn't be three putt. As we begin the backside here at St. Andrews, you can oh, really you. feel the history. This whole named in honor of the legendary Bobby Jones, who won the 1927 Open. This is my first round, to be honest. Obviously, 1930 was his there. Grand Slam year. He retired, by the way, at the age of 28. And then founded and built with Alistair McKenzie, Augusta National. So a little bit of history lesson as you play right. this 340 yard par four tenth. Let's just smack it. Bit of overpower. All right, come on, kick in a little bit to the left here. Beautiful tempo to that swing and this is gonna wind up squarely in the fairway. Just off the green. Look at that. Mind you, I, I should probably have left myself a longer shot because these are pretty so a tough. Big drive and not much needed to carry here for his second. That'll do. That'll do. Should hopefully pick up a birdie here. Okay, that's acceptable there. Nice. Yes, a good look at that one all the way. Okay, in. three under. To push that score to three under for the round. Now to the par three eleventh, and Frank, what's the key here? Well, this uh, green is slightly elevated. Huge false front, sort of left and right of that Strath bunker, and of course that bunker on the hill. Or well, should I say that bunker on the left is called Hill. That's the famous bunker where Bobby Jones couldn't get out of it many years ago and actually ripped up his scorecard. So a good tee shot here. Just find that right level where the flag is. Oh, I've gone over. Oh, that's way over the back, I think. No, no, it might actually hold. Oof, I didn't think that was going to hold. Okay, that. that one passed the hole just a bit, but a birdie try up coming. Tough putt, though. But here at the 11th. Don't wow, forget my cat meowing his head off outside my room. Close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, that was well off. Hmm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. So this will be a par, and he'll remain at minus three. Here we are now, one of the very best short par fours in golf. 316 yard 12. Oof, we're making this one. Lurking all over the fairway. So the safe move is to go with a long iron down the left side, leaving a short approach. All right, we should make this. Let's aim right over here. Let's actually bring it in with a little bit of draw. Oh, is that too much? That might be in the well, bunker. This is a big chance, but it's looking good. Ah, oh, get up. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that is going to be a tough putt. Look at that. Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. That well is one done. hell of a slope. 
It was nasty. All right, come on. Can't see the hole. Ah, oh, there it is. That's not too bad. Yeah, Chipped that's a cup of really birdie. well done. From that distance, you'll take it every time. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Ah, yes. Well okay, done. Four it's under. birdie to move to four under now on the day. Now to the par 4 13th. And again, Frank, it's all about avoiding the bunkers. Yeah, another hole that forces you to go either right or left of something that you can see. Uh, the two bunkers called the coffins right up ahead. You can also go beyond those, and if you do, then you've got a much shorter shot in. But uh, you've got to avoid those fairway bunkers. They are very costly. I think I'm going to come over here to the right-hand side a little bit. Uh, Left-hand side. Oof, that's very close to that, though, isn't it? Let's bring it in a little bit from the, the left. This one starting up that left side. Oh, that's going to be fine. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't Love it? Love the ambient yeah, sounds. The airplanes and stuff drive. flying over top. 270, then it rolled out to 326. That's what, 56 yards rolled From out the fairway that note, this is second. 143 yards left to the hole, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. Come on, baby. Be the club. Oh, ho, ho. Had a nasty little bounce there to the left. Again, it's going to leave us with another tough putt. Massive and right to left barely here. makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss it, the middle Oof. of the club, by quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. Could have to aim way up here, I think. That's a nasty putt. Oh, that was, still wasn't far enough. Look at that. Nowhere near hard enough either, to be honest. Oh, and that runs out of gas far too early. That is not where you want to leave the golf ball. Very tough little putt, that was. Oh, we've missed it. That's that going to be a bogey. Just going to sneak on by. Or is it? It is, yep. Yeah. Bogey time. Three under on the day. Our first glitch on the card. Frank, the 14th is a big par five chance to make a big move, but also possibility of making a big number if you're not careful. Yeah, you've got to be very uh, aware of the out of bounds on the right side, even though it does move to the right. Love the um, color of the two course. Two down the right side that uh, gets very close all to that. All the little that, patches, uh, all the little brown patches shot, and stuff. That, uh, tee shot away from that crop of bunkers called the birdies. There's a big cross bunker up ahead that has to be avoided for the second shot. Um, if you're long enough, you can reach this par five and two. But this green with so many undulations that it is anything other than flat. Again, a little bit of a power swing up there. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Okay, nice big 65-yard roll out there. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Um, I don't know whether just to lay up here, you know. Three wood. I mean, we'll get on the green, but <sighs> could leave us a nasty putt. Ah, what the hell. Let's just smack it, shall we? Oh, what am I doing? Let's bring it in a little bit from this side. Right, come on. I'm actually going to overpower this as well because I want to get it right up on that green. Go on, get up there. Turn. Oh, why is there a turn to the left? Oh, damn it. I went a little bit further than I thought I would. <laughs> Almost a great shot. Just missed it. A fraction to the right of this green here at the par five. Yeah, a bit of chip and a putt. Still make four. Uh-oh. Stop, Bolt, please. 
Oof, I thought that was going to go right over the top there. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Nice. Yeah, can't take those for granted. So we've got that drop shot back, back up to minus four. In for a birdie. Frank, one of the things I always loved about Lynx golf is that you're not aiming at a flag. Now, I haven't watched tree, any but sometimes you're other people playing yet. In the, distance. the guy's on this console. Is how's, it, how's it looking on the console? Yeah, the church 30 frames per second. The exact line off the tee. That gives you sort of the center of the fairway. Um, really, you don't have to be overly bold off the tee. This is about just finding a nice flat lie for that second shot. Because I'm this playing this at uh, um, 14.40 well at 60. By just one little bunker. That's in the front left that you don't think comes into play. I could put it on 4K. Shot, doesn't land the right distance. Bump it down to 30 frames per second. Get swallowed up but by that. I'd rather play at 14.40 at 60 frames per second. They've all been going straight up until that one. A little bit of a test coming up. So from the rough, Iona's down there. And this is probably okay, 94 to 100 percent side hitting towards one of the tricky screens on the course. Should be good there, I reckon. That'll do, I reckon. This one's looking good. Lovely. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like uh, what six, seven feet in there. But that is an excellent approach shot. Nice little straight Here putt we go. as well. Seven footer for birdie. Oof, yeah, the good play goodness. continues now to okay, five, five under. under on the day. We begin the closing stretch here at St. Andrews at the challenging 381 yard par four 16th. Two options here. Play it safer and aim down the left side, avoiding a cluster of bunkers known as Principal's Nose. Or aim right and risk going out of bounds. Yep, should be good just to smash one down there, I reckon. Again, oh, sugar. I thought I put a bit of over... Oh, that's all right. I thought that was going to go way more to the right there. He but just keeps actually moving worked out right okay. along. Another good tee shot right there. Look at that go. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Okay, come on. Oh, went over a little bit there. It's going to hit up an up, up slope. It's going to stop it. Nice. Oh, look at that little tappy tap. Oh, he's just so good throughout the bag. And that is another beauty there. Okay, nice. a little two-footer for birdie, not a problem. And Six under. Well played. Arriving now at St. Andrew's infamous road hole. The road hole. Most difficult par four in golf, the 17th. Tee shot has to fly those railway sheds and the grounds of the old course hotel, landing on a Just narrow take a screenshot there from the thumbnail. Let's have a look, see what it looks like off the tee. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Come on. The good one here. I'll do it. I think. Yep. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Okay, what we got? One eighty four. Good strike from one hundred and eighty yards away. Bring it down. Ooh. Ooh Let's try that. Oh, wrong bloody button! I keep hitting the LB button. Do I think this could be close to that bunker though? Oh, side hill. I didn't even notice the lie I had. Ball was above my feet. Should have noticed that. Okay, let's go with a little... little chip shot, I think, here. Yeah? Maybe. 
Ah, let's try it. I haven't really tried the chip shots yet, so. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, it's going to be tough to sort of work out your, your short game. Sizable putt from 16 feet. Oh, you've got to be sh got it there, shitting but me. Not quite on Can't target. believe I missed that. Oh, bogey. That's terrible. Really has it going at five under. We should have had that par there. To stand on the tee here at 18, and history is staring oh, look at that. right Isn't that beautiful? in the face. Yeah, you have the Rusex Hotel on the right, the Dumbagen over the back, um, the RNA building. Uh, just standing there, you're uh, you're reminded of, of how far this great game has come, and uh, and all these hundreds of years, I guess, in the future. And, and where will the game be then? Big overpower, just try and get it up right up there. Go on, Bolt. Well, going. you can't Keep walk going. out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. I can't believe how much the ball rose. It's crazy. Oh, look at that. Over the bridge. Iona, a second coming up. Well, it was an impressive effort off the tee, but here we are in the Valley of Sin, a piece of land that's fraught with enough history to earn its own biblical surname. Okay, Paul, slow up, slow. That's not bad. Now this for another birdie. Oh, that's missed. I pushed that again, Ooh, I think. Good speed there. That'll that leave just, just kind a couple of turns. Feet. I thought that was bloody bagpipes I was hearing. It's not. It's bloody cop car going past. In the game, it's not. Uh, in my house. <laughs> okay, so that will wind up a par at the last. And that will finish off a very solid round. Five under 67. So well, they go, guys. To begin to sum up what we've seen at the birthplace of golf today. The course, we'll see what they the say scenery, before the we finish up. Play. It was really all vintage St. Andrews. Absolute pleasure to play the old course once again, Rich. Um, you can see how technology might have changed. It. There's a few more par fours that are reachable these days for the longer hitters. But still, it's a great uh, memory of where golf started, where it is now, and where it's going to be. And with that, for my colleague Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports saying... So long from Scotland. From Scotland. Yeah, I love all the little sort of back and forth with the commentators and that. So there you go, guys. That's uh, my first full course playthrough at the old course at St. Andrews. Minus five, not too bad. Two bogeys on the back nine. Two birdies on the front nine. Pretty good. Not too bad at all. Again, guys, thank you for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.